Hi folks, how are you all doing today? Today we're going to discuss about um, the difference between error and bug. So that's the usual question, right? Anyone uh, actually gets. So whenever they, they see what is error and what is bug, what's the difference between them? Are they both same or are they different? So all these questions I'm going to address today, right? So what is error? Let's see. So what is error? So when you um, hear error, what is that? So when I say bug, what's it? Okay. So let's understand everything. Okay. So it's going to be pretty simple, right? Error and bug both are like uh, semantic errors and syntactic errors. <laughs> okay. So something like that, right? So when I say semantic error, that becomes a bug. Okay. When you say um, syntactic error, that means error, okay? Syntactically, if you're creating, uh, I mean, if you're missing something or if you're not showing something, right? So then you're gonna get syntactic errors, right? And uh, if you're creating any error, if you're making any error in a logic, right? In the logic of the program, basically those kind of things are not shown as error, right? So your output will not be the correct one, yeah? So the output will be unexpected, but but there is some output which is given. Okay, so such kind of things are called as bugs. So let me just tell you. Um, I'll quickly write this. So error is a synthetic thing, right? Synthetic error. Error is otherwise called as synthetic error. You can say. Okay. So yeah, error is otherwise called as Synthetic error, okay. Oh, and bug. Bug is something like a semantic error. Okay, so bug is something like a semantic error. Okay, so when I say this syntactic error and semantic error, most of you all uh, might not understand this, right? So when it is um, syntactic error, right? Syntactic errors are errors where you will be seeing the error comment, and okay? Like the comment will be shown that this is the error in your program, okay? Those type of errors are called the syntactic errors, right? Syntactic errors are given as an error on the on the screen, okay? Syntactic errors are given as an error on the screen or uh, by your compiler, basically. Okay. And semantic errors are something which are logical errors, right? Semantic errors are logical errors where uh, you will be getting uh, some output, but you will be getting some output, but that will be unexpected output. Okay. Right. So I, I hope you might have got some uh, clarity on this. Right. When you see example, then definitely you're going to get some clarity. Right. So let's suppose I'm just creating uh, array one. OK. We already know that we have uh, discussed about arrays already in our previous sessions. If you've not been watching my series yet, please do go back to my channel and do watch them. Right. So you'll understand that. OK. So let's suppose I'm using a for loop now to loop through the array, okay? So when I say var i equal to zero, i less than, uh, so there are six elements in the array, right? So I'll just write six, i less than six, okay? And i plus plus i will write, okay? So let's check. Now I'll just say console dot log, Sorry. console dot log. Uh, let's write i. Let's display i value. Okay. So now let's see what exactly will happen on the screen, right? And let me just run this quickly. So I'm just running this. Like you can see, I'll just um, so zero, one, two, three, four, five, right? So it's just printing the okay. If I just print the array, right? Then you will get to know. I have to index it. 
so let's see the this thing you can see here oops we can't figure out what arr is oh wait sorry so we arr one right let's reset and run it again oh wow one two three four five six are given as the output right so index starts from zero okay so this is the zeroth element first second third fourth fifth okay so we wrote i less than six so less than six means the number which is uh, less than six the immediate number which is less than six is five only right so zero to five yeah zeroth element first second third fourth fifth so that's why the output is correct okay this is the actual logic right now now let's suppose i am just um i'm just missing this let's say i'm i'm removing this one okay it is automatically showing this error see so unmatched and uh, there's something like that right let's run it see it is showing the error identifier directly after number so it is not able to figure out what exactly i'm missing here but still it knows that the compiler knows that there is some error some uh, syntactic error is there okay so when i say syntactic error it is a grammatical error in the program right so here grammatically i had to give the semicolon so that's missing so it is able to detect that okay so let's suppose um, i'll i'll remove this thing okay let's check what happens see it is showing error on the line uh, line number 9 right unexpected token so when it sees for when it is not seeing any appropriate value over here right so then it will show the error in the next line only correct because uh, it doesn't really know it is ending here automatically it starts um, something new so which is which it is not able to figure that out right so that that type of errors are called as syntactic errors so you can see here syntax error is given right it is expecting something which is not present in our code so let's let's put that whatever it is expecting right so let's give that um sorry so let's put this now if you reset and run it automatically runs properly right so these kind of uh, like the program program errors right so grammar errors in the program so these are called as syntax syntax errors or you can say just error in your program okay now now let's suppose if i just write um i less than equal to 6 let's write okay now let's reset and run see there is another extra value which is getting printed actually i only wanted to print array 1 right but now instead of printing array 1 only it is also printing some other value which is not really present in the array 1 right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 is automatically getting printed along with that it is also printing undefined which is unexpected right i really did not expect this output correct so but it is actually giving me that that means there's no error there's no uh, like syntactic error here right i'm not missing anything in the program okay grammatically my program is correct but logically it is incorrect okay there is some problem in my logic which is um, actually making something happen like this right it is actually giving undefined as the output which should not happen okay so this is just happening because of this equal to sign over here this is extra we only have six indexes right i am also asking it for the seventh index element which it really doesn't have right so that's the reason it is giving this error for me okay it's this is the bug okay this is the logical bug which i have in my program logically if i just remove this equal to that's the correct program right just now we show we already saw that okay so this is bug okay when logically if you are uh, making some mistake in the program right which your compiler can't really understand okay so let's reset and run see this is the program okay this is what we wanted right so this is the difference between error and bug error means syntactically your compiler knows if you're missing something and those are syntax errors and if you're wrong, missing so logically if you're missing something that will become the syntax errors okay and if you are not logically sorry uh, if you are missing something in the program those are errors okay syntax errors or errors right 
logically if you're miss missing something that becomes a bug okay or you can say semantic errors right so these are the things which i wanted to tell you guys right i hope you understood this session and this was informative okay thank you so much for watching this video and bye bye guys please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel for talk